Today's 20 minute postpartum workout is designed to tone your entire body. You don't need any equipment and it's also diastasis recti safe. I'm not gonna wear any shoes for this workout, but if you're more comfortable in shoes, feel free to wear them. Soft bend in the knees and we'll hip circle, keeping your core engaged. Going the other way. We'll take a mini squat, arm circle around, keeping our ribs pulled in and down. Going the other way with our arms. Let's really shoot our hips back here for windmill. If you wanted to hold on to something you can, let's circle out one ankle. Going both ways. Let's switch to the other side. Either way. Good, now let's get down onto the mat. We can exhale, lowering safely down on our side. Let's take a big inhale into our ribs, 360 degrees. Exhale, bring everything in. Inhale again. Exhale, we can add a little bit of a pelvic floor contraction. Lifting in and up as everything comes in. Good. On our next exhale, if we can peel off, moving into a bridge. Inhale down. Exhale, engage, lift. Inhale down. Continue with your own breath. Stay at the top, pulsing here. Good, releasing it down. We're gonna do a dead bug or a modification. So you can either bring both knees up and then we're gonna lower opposite leg and arm or you can keep your feet on the ground and then heel slide this is gonna be a better option if you have diastasis recti. So wherever you are, exhale, opposite arm and leg. Inhale, back in. Core is tight.
One more on either side. Let's bring our knees up into tabletop here. And we can either engage our core and pulse here if you have diastasis recti. If it's safe for you on an exhale, you bring your shoulders slightly off, we'll pulse here. Steady breaths into your side and back ribs. Releasing your shoulders down if they're up and then exhale releasing your feet down. Let's roll over on to our side. We can come up onto all fours. Let's extend one leg back, lift it up, and we're gonna draw a rainbow behind us with our toe. As we move our leg, our hips are very steady, not swaying back and forth. Core is strong, back is not swaying at all. Let's bring that knee back in. We're gonna lift it up and back, extending it high, really squeezing through your glute there. Bring it in again. Let's bring it up, pulse three times. Bring it in, continue with your breath. Not swaying through your lower back at all. You might feel it in both glutes. Good, switching to the other side, preparing for your rainbows on the other side. Squeezing your inner thighs as you cross your leg over as well. your core muscles. Last tap here, bringing your knee in, triple pulse up. Last one on this side, releasing down. Let's sit back, gently stretch through our glutes, relax through your pelvic floor, switching to the other side. Good, coming back to all fours. Let's extend one leg back again. We're gonna do a push up here, bringing your elbows straight back behind you. Last one on this side. Good, let's switch our legs. 
really taking all your weight in your arms. releasing down. Let's bring our hands into a diamond shape here and come down, pulsing here. Coming up, take a breath. Re-engaging your core, pulsing again. Good. Let's switch our position here for tricep dips. You could also do this on the edge of a chair or a couch. Let's dip down, exhale, reach for your opposite foot. Last reach. We'll do some speed tricep dips here. We're almost at a water break, keep going. Amazing release. Let's shake it out. We can stretch our triceps out. Keeping your ribs pulled in and down. Switching to the other side. Release, let's grab a sip of water. We can come up to standing. We're gonna squat down. Let's let our sit bones reach towards the back corner of our mat. We'll pulse here and coming up. Facing towards the left, we'll bring our right leg back. On an exhale, bring your knee in, engage your core. You can even have a lift in your pelvic floor. Big inhale into your side and back ribs. Exhale, engage. Nice bend in your supporting leg.
Setting up on the other side. Exhale as your knee comes up. Legs nice and wide apart. As we squat down, we're gonna lift our heels up, squeeze your legs. Feel as if your heels are dragging in towards each other. Re-engaging your core. You can add pelvic floor contraction as you exhale as well. We're gonna do speed thrusters here, squatting down, shoot your hips back, and on an exhale, thrusting up. You did amazing. Let's take a big deep breath. Let it go. We can stretch out through our quad. If you wanna hold on to a wall, you can. Bring your knee back in line with your other knee. Gently release, we can switch to the other side. Releasing your foot. Let's stretch out through our groin. We can drop one shoulder in. Drop the other shoulder in. Coming up, let's step out on our left foot, bring your right foot behind, reach your right heel down towards the ground to get a nice stretch through the back of your leg. Nice side stretch. Deep breath. Exhale. 
Exhale, engage your obliques. Other side. Reaching your left heel down, ballooning out through your side body. Exhale, coming up. Let's take our palms up and then turn our thumbs down behind us, externally rotating. And let's open up through our chest, keeping your ribs pulled in and down. Gently release, let's round out through our upper back. Dropping your chin. Release, we're gonna come down into yogi squat or you could do butterfly pose if that feels better. Lowering down, if your heels pop off, that's also okay. Sitting tall, pressing your elbows into your legs. Releasing through your pelvic floor. You can stay here. If you don't have diastasis recti, you can take a gentle twist, opening to the side. Exhale, follow your fingers back down, opening up to the other side. Releasing out. You did amazing and I hope you're feeling great after that workout. I know there are a lot of different workouts on YouTube and I just genuinely wanna thank you for choosing to join me today. I hope to see you again and I hope you have a great day.